Hey guys, Corey Laguerre, Mount Comfort RV, um, and I'm coming at you today uh, with a, a, a travel trailer that's got a, a, a nice niche in this marketplace. Um, how many of you folks out there have a tow vehicle um, that has a max tow rating of 3,500 pounds? Um, there's a lot of people out there, we see, it, we see them come through the doors, and there's not a lot of selection, especially for the buyer that wants the full-size bathroom, um, and you can't do a pop-up because the pop-up don't have the bathroom, um, or just for the simple fact that you, you might you might have found something you like, but you don't have enough cargo, um, uh, you don't have enough combined cargo carrying capacity to make it worth your while, you know, you're maxing out your tow rating. Well, this, my friends, right here is a 2012 Viking 13K travel trailer. Um, and I want to show it to you today and talk with you about it for just a short second um, because it's something that we sell a lot of, we have a lot of success with, and it's going to give you all the things that you need. Um, it is a mom and pops coach, it's designed for two people. Um, but let me show you the outside first. Um, right up here, this is where your propane system would go, and this is also where we would put our battery. We would put a 12 volt deep cycle marine grade battery. Um, you also see from this front side right here, you can see the rock, the rock guard or the rock protector. Okay, it's real tight, but as we walk around this way, okay, now right here is your 30 amp power cord, and it's all connected to the travel trailer, so you already have storage for it, and you don't have to worry about leaving your campground and leaving your uh, power cord behind. Um, now, right here is a gas and electric uh, water heater. It's also a direct spark ignition water heater, meaning you can light the pilot from inside. You don't have to quit what you're doing to come out here and light the pilot. Um, it's a six gallon um, water heater and it's got a 12 or a 10.2 recovery rate per hour or per gallon uh, per hour. Now right here is your city water connection. This is where you're going to hook up for when you're at a campground and you need city water. Right here is your fresh water fill. Right over here guys is where you would hook up for cable. Now this is a single axle travel trailer and the dry weight on this is 2,200 pounds. So if you have a 3,500 pound tow rating, you have about 12 to 1,300 pounds of cargo carrying capacity, which is very, very nice. We also see, uh, I see too many times people coming in with the 3,500 pound tow rating and they're settling for stuff 32, 3,300 pounds and not really giving themselves any cargo carrying capacity. Well, this right here has solved that. Um, just talking a little bit about the construction, it is a wood frame travel trailer, um, but it is a hung wall construction. So it is 16 inches on center. So you have a stud every 16 inches on center or less, and in the floor, uh, every 16 inches on center or less also. Built like a house. Now guys, real quick, what we'll do is we'll take a step inside and I'll show you the inside. Okay guys, Corey Laguerre, back at you. We're inside this uh, 2012 13K travel trailer. Um, it's the perfect mom and pop coach. It's got all the essentials you need, um, especially if you have the truck or the, the SUV, the crossover, um, the car that only has got the 3,500 pound tow rating. As you can see back here, you can see this big table. This is your big dinette. This is where you're gonna eat um, your dinner, eat your breakfast, all that. It does have seating for four, but this will break down right here on this ledge right here. And then this will break down and make a table. And then you would set these over top of it. And that's gonna make your bed. The reason why I pulled this one off is if you look, you can also see that you have storage back there with a nice little shelf back here. So you can put your alarm clocks, anything you need, um, breathing machines, whatever you need uh, for when you're sleeping, you have that set up right there, which is nice. Um, another thing, just a quick note, if you look at the table, do you see how it doesn't have the, the poles uh, like you see on most dinettes? And the advantage to that is, is it's not just gonna be a table inside, you can pick this table up, walk it right outside, put it right underneath your awning, and now you have the ability to prep your food outside. That is a very, very versatile feature, and a lot of people really do like that. Also, right here, you have a very good-sized refrigerator, especially for this only being a 13, uh, a 13K, a 13-foot box. This is a gas and electric refrigerator. Um, 
does everything that you need, especially for the weekend. Um, guys, this is not really something that's really designed to live in. Obviously, you guys know that. Um, but this is something that weekends, week-long trips, um, just for the two, this is perfect. Now, for the for all the people that have to have the bathroom that don't want the pop-up because it don't offer the bathroom and wants the, the securities of a full enclosed trailer or the insulation values or insulation properties of full enclosed trailer, right here is your bathroom and it is a full bathroom. You get in here, you have a nice corner shower with your faucet, your extendable, your extendable shower head. Right here is your toilet. Now I'm about 5'11", 6 foot, depending on which uh, gas station I'm walking out of. Um, but if I sit right down here, you can see that I have decent leg room. Um, and, and, and for something at this size, um, it, it is arranged very properly. You don't feel like for not having a slide or anything like that, you really don't feel crammed upon each other. Um, but let me show you the kitchen real quick, guys. Right here, you have a high-rise faucet, which makes it easier for you to get your pitchers under, get your pots and pans under. You have a two-burner stove. You have your microwave right down here, which is really easy to access. It's not up all tall or high or anything like that. Um, and you have a lot of storage in this coach. For as small as it is, look at all the storage we have as far as cabinets. I mean, they wrap all the way around here, okay? They're nice and deep, too. Okay? And then right here, we have a pantry or we have hangable storage and even more drawers down here, okay? Now, Every, I know you guys want to know what's powered behind, not powering this, but I know you guys want to know some of the meat and potatoes behind this. This has got a roof AC. This is not a wall AC like you see on most of the, most of things this size. Okay, this has got a 13,500 13, BTU air conditioner. And for the size of this, with this being a fully enclosed trailer, I mean, this will really blow you out here. This will really do its job. This is the same size AC that they put on the diesels. It is not ducted, but for this size, it doesn't need to be. It's all forced air. You could you could hang meat in here when you got this when you got this blowing. Also, you can really run yourself out of here with the furnace. Um, this has got a very big furnace on it. This is about a 25,000, 30,000 BTU furnace. It's not ducted also, but like I said, guys, at the size of this, it does not need to be ducted at all. Right over here, you have some wall outlets. You have a place for your TV. You have a nice um, uh, Formica uh, uh, countertop with your T moldings, okay? That's very, very nice construction. And also coming back to the cabinets, if you look at the cabinets, you can see that it's got a raised bevel. It's not a wrapped veneer. This is, this is real cabinets. This is an upgraded cabinetry package, which is really, really nice. And also guys, the TV, has the booster so you do have your tv antenna booster to help you pick up signals it does got it does got some speakers in here so for some sort of surround sound when you're watching your tv your thermostat is right over here so you can adjust the temperature and the last thing i want to, the last thing i want to get guys so you can see this is it does have a cd player in it it is a car cd player or a car cd player that if it was to ever break, I mean, you can go out and get $50, $60 CD player at Walmart, Meyer, whatever, and replace it if it was to ever break or if somebody was to ever steal it. Come here and get a look at this. And the one other the reasons why I want to talk about this is if you have the smartphone, you can take your smartphone, and if you got internet radio, Pandora, uh, Spotify, any of those type of things, and you don't do CDs anymore, this is a CD player, but you can also plug your phone in, plug it in right there, and now listen to your internet radio. That is that is something that's becoming very, very popular um, in today's RV marketplace. Um, guys, quick video. Wanted to show you this, especially if you guys got the, the truck that's got, that doesn't have the big tow rating, and you don't you don't need to go out and buy a big half ton pickup truck to be able to tow this or have to go out and buy a new vehicle because that can get very expensive. Um, guys, if you guys have any questions about this whatsoever, give me a call at 317-898-6676 um, and I'll answer any questions you guys have. Thank you again. This is Mount Comfort RV, Corey Laguerre, over and out.